Okay, so we are going to uh, add this shim here. I think this is a hundred thousandths shim. I think that's what she told me. Uh, we're going to add that to this and hopefully get the uh, cruise up a little bit because I'm still running really flat. But uh, anyway, I'm going to try and set this camera up and video me changing it. Um, but anyway, here we go. that off. We've got this uh, bolt here that actually holds the prop pins. Hard to show, but kind of captures them anyway. And that's what holds this pitch. So what we got is a whole bunch of stack of shims back here in front of this pitch block. Uh, I'll show you that as I take it apart, but and then we're going to add the uh, this new shim into the back behind this pitch block. So I'll show you how we do this here. Okay, so here is the new shim. We've got the bolt that kind of retains all this stuff here. I'm gonna set this back here. Okay, so we're gonna pull this. This is the pitch block right here. This is the 50 thousandths shim that I have already, which just wasn't quite enough. These are all 10 thousandths shims here. So a total of eight of those, so there's 80 thousandths there. Uh, I'm going to add 100 thousandths back here as well. And uh, that should get me Closer to where I want to be. We'll have to do some more testing this weekend. But anyway, we're going to put this, uh, and I'll show you here. Put this one on there like that. So we're going to add that to that. Um, and I can get rid of that 50 thousandths if I want to. Um, but I think this is gonna be pretty good for my motor anyway. So we got 150 thousandths behind the pitch block and then I'll have 80 thousandths to play with. So I'll, uh, we're gonna reinstall the blade now.
One more thing to note here is so we've got some red dots on these propeller blades. One on this side, not on this. There's also a red dot here. What you want to do is make sure that this red dot goes like this and not, not the opposite way. So that's the way they have it uh, balanced from the factory. So anyway, okay, we're going to put her back together. This gets tightened down to seven foot pounds. And they want you to actually back these out just ever so slightly. And then tighten this up. That's it. She's done and we're, uh, we're pitched back up. So it's nice that they've got the, uh, well, it's upside down, but got all the torque values on there. Uh, so really slick, really fast. Anyway, I got uh, what, 11 minutes on the video here. So that's about it. It's about what it takes. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps.